Hey, folks, welcome to In the Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway. Today's date is Wednesday, January 14th, 2015. What I want to look at today is Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -A. And what you're looking at right now is the 10-minute chart zoomed all the way out. And what I want to show you here again is how important trend line analysis is. This is more of an educational video, but we'll also talk a little bit about what I expect from Alibaba in the short term and in the long term. So first and foremost, notice how today we gapped below this pivot low from yesterday. Now you might say, okay, well, it's just an arbitrary gap lower, but please notice how the chart sold off on the gap down, then pushed back up and retested that before pulling back. So obviously this pivot low from yesterday and this trend line that I have in here is significant. Now, where does this come from? Let's take a look. All right. What we want to do is we want to zoom out a little bit here. And what you can see is there's a pivot low right here. Okay. So right away, you can see the low, the stock came into this level, bounced, retraced, gave a double bottom, bounced all the way up, then came all the way down here again, hit, and then finally to get through this trend line, we had to gap below it. Once you gapped below it, then you retraced into it. That's called scene of the crime, and that's a shortable opportunity right there. All right, so again, now we've retraced this trend line all the way back a little bit to this point right here. Now, if we go to the 60-minute chart, take a look at this, guys. The line goes all the way back to a previous pivot point okay now what's the importance of this 100 ish area on alibaba well number one you can see the chart was trading up here hit it pulled back hit it again pulled back then broke up through it and did a retrace this is again scene of the crime always look for these places all right when you break out above a resistance point you're going to retrace nine out of ten times and you hit it and that's your buying opportunity same thing on the short side if we zoom in right here you gapped below, you retraced into that, and then you sold back off down. That's, again, called a scene-of-the-crime trading setup. All right, now, again, look at how awesome this area is. So you basically had a trend line that, gave, that started right here around 100 or just underneath 100. Then you kind of hit it, pulled back, hit it, pulled back, broke through, came down, hit it again, pulled back again and again, and finally broke through it. Now, as if that's not a significant enough level, I want to go to the daily chart. This is where the unveiling really is amazing. Look at this same area right here. Here it is on the daily chart, how you hit it, broke above, came back, hit it, hit it, and then again retraced underneath and retraced back to it, and you're now you're below it. But what's so important is that, look at this. On the day this stock IPO'd, it basically kissed $100. So 100 has been a key pivot point on Alibaba for a long, long time. So really, if you want to extend this line out, you can extend it all the way back here to the first trading day ever on Alibaba when it went public. Then again, you fell back, you came up, you hammered on it, broke through, retraced back into it, retraced into it, and then finally broke back below it. Okay, let's talk about projections here on the stock. All right, short term, where is your support level going to be? Support's going to be right here in the short term at 96.80, so $96.80. So there is a little bit more downside. Um, I would basically say as long as the stock stays below 100, you should have a neutral to negative bias on it, okay? Neutral to negative as long as you're below this trend line, okay? That's in the short term. Short term support again, you'd expect a small bounce off 96.80. And then if you head lower, this is going to be a huge amount of support right here, $94, right around this 94 level, which is your closing day from the IPO date. All right, so IPO date right here, and that's your key level right there. So 96.80, okay, and then 94 even number. Those are your two supports on the way down. So again, short term, to summarize, neutral to negative bias on Alibaba as long as it remains below 100. If it ends up closing above 100, go into a positive bias. That is your pivot point. If you get back above 100, this is a longer-term bullish pattern. So again, short term, neutral to negative. If it ever gets back above 100, look for a bullish move to the upside, potentially back to 120. That's how you have to view this. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you understand how important trend lines are and how amazing they are. I use it every day to swing trade, day trade, and invest, and I can't stress it enough. Come here to InTheMoneyStocks.com. We'll teach you this. I'm going to give you my trade alerts as I take them, give you the exact entries, stops, and targets. And again, come join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com.